Not long ago, we showed off the NEC Terrain for the AT&T network. It's a rugged, durable phone. You weren't content with just an unboxing and hardware walk around. You wanted to watch us abuse it. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Let's get to it. Some people might call me soft. I have a desk job. I drive a Prius. Other than the goatee, on the outside, I'm not what most people would call rugged. While that may be what most people see, I also build stuff. I get my hands dirty. While I won't claim to be as rugged as others who do really hard work every day, I can certainly value the benefits of a good, durable smartphone that I won't have to worry about breaking. Luckily, the NEC Terrain lives up to its motto, made for hard work. The NEC Terrain is water resistant. It's a rugged device that sports a keyboard, and considering that its primary purpose is to be rugged and durable, it's a pretty nice phone. The Terrain is rated IP67 for dust and water immersion, and comes with a military 810G for shock, extreme temperatures, and salt fog. I still don't know what that is. But it's got to be pretty good, because it's military rated, right? Even with all those durability ratings, it still manages to cram push-to-talk and a QWERTY keyboard inside its ruggedized shell. On the inside of the device, the NEC Terrain is a little more on the light side. Although it has a dual-core 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4-8960 processor, it only has 1 GB of RAM and a 640x480 screen. This smartphone isn't going to win any performance contests. It's also running Android 4.0, that's ice cream sandwich, and it seems a little bit out of place to us. Overall, the device is pretty snappy, and we didn't notice any hanging or lagging, except when it took us two or three times to tap its somewhat small on-screen buttons. If your job has you in the field more than in an office or at a desk, and you want a phone that's a little more durable than the relatively fragile flagship devices from the major OEMs, the NEC Terrain is a great mix of performance, specs, and durability. Hopefully that'll satisfy your need to see this little guy abused, dropped, kicked, and even dunked in water. If it didn't, you'll need to get your own phone and send us the video of how you abuse it. If you liked what you saw here, and who doesn't like seeing phones dropped in water and thrown across the yard, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to, share this video with your friends on your favorite social media networks. We're there. We'd love to see you there too. On Twitter, we're at PocketNow. I'm at Joe Levi. For Pocket Now, abusing phones. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.